Alright guys, welcome back and in this video I want to talk to you about aggregate functions. Now with aggregate functions what you can do is you can have groups of data and then you can perform some calculations on those groups. So say for example let's say we wanted to figure out how many people had blue eyes, how many people had green eyes and was there probably another one? How many people had brown eyes? So we could just go ahead and all right, go one by one, tally all of them up, then at the end we'll make three separate groups, or we can just use these little handy aggregate functions. So in order to use them, db users aggregate, and then as the parameter, the object that it takes is this. The first thing that you're always going to use is this keyword group. That's essentially saying that you want to make groups of data whatever documents you're trying to group together now the criteria that you pass in here is first of all you want to make groups based on what criteria so what we were trying to do is we were trying to make groups based on eye color so if you copy that you always proceed with the dollar sign and then write the name right there so now it's going to group all of your documents together based on eye color. All right, so now we have three separate groups or however many eye colors there are. Now the next parameter is pretty much asking, how do you want to handle the results? What calculations do you want to perform on this group? So I'll just show you guys a real quick one right now. Anytime you want to just get the number of items in the group, for example, we just want the number of people with brown eyes and the number of people with blue eyes, so on and so forth. You just use the keyword sum one. This just means sum everything up in one. Whenever you see a one standing alone, it always means true. So if we run this, check it out. Our groups have, well, our customers, I should say, 14 of them have green eyes, 12 of them have brown eyes, and nine of them have blue eyes and it doesn't have to be eye color say that you wanted to um i don't know group based on gender so dollar sign gender run that and check it out so out of our customers 20 of them are male and 15 of them are female and it isn't just summing everything up you can actually do a couple other cool things as well so again anytime you just want to tally everything you just use sum but say that you wanted like the average age. So what this is going to do, if you use the keyword, move my cursor out of the way. So instead of sum, use the keyword average. And of course, instead of true, you need to say what you're trying to average, and that is age. So what this is going to do is it's going to group them by gender, and it's going to give you the average age of the guys, which is 32.5, and the average age of the females, the average age of that group is 30.8 and there's also again there are a couple different ones like average sum max min so for example if you're trying to find the richest um like person like the richest guy and the richest girl not rickest you would just do max and that's going to return the maximum what was a balance since this is how much money they have and of course that needs to be a keyword so run this and check it out so it's gonna group all the guys together and then once it has that group it's gonna get the max balance in other words the richest guy and out of all the girls the richest girl has three thousand nine hundred and sixty dollars and sixty four cents so there you go, real quick tutorial on how to use aggregate functions. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.